Hi, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can extract data from your invoices to your Excel. Now, first thing that you need to do is to have an account in BitScout because this is where we provide you the, with the templates uh, which, which are ready-made plugins to extract data from invoices and other documents. And now to check the invoice template you need to go to templates library press details and this is uh, the description of what we extract you can also test it additionally we constantly add in sample scenarios and in this case we're going to use a zapier to do that and there is no zapier that says gmail to uh, excel so we're just going to grab the first scenario and modify it it's, it's typically very easy to do so because the zapier is very user friendly and it's uh, really straightforward now the first thing that we need to change is the change the app. So in this case we're going to use Gmail. And the event is a new attachment because we only need emails that come with attachments. If you have emails that come as receipts as HTML, so you need to set up a little bit different automation but it looks like practically the same. Okay? Now I will use my own account. And there is one thing that I will do that you don't have to do. I will add a subject filter because um, I have we have a special account where we extract invoices from and uh, to you to demonstrate you how it works I uh, I wanted to use the test so now we we'll press continue and uh, let's test our trigger it will go through the uh, my inbox find the email with attachments with the invoices where it has the subject subject word test. In your case you don't need the subject word test. Okay, now we have our um, plugin ready. Uh, next thing, we don't need that step because we're not using Dropbox, but you can also save attachment to a Dropbox. So the next step is run a plugin in BitScout. For that you need an account, so use mine. And uh, when you clicked on the scenario, uh, the plugin for invoices was automatically created into your account, so you don't have to do anything. Just find the plugin called Invoice with Line Items. Here it is. And then, not URL, we need an attachment. Okay, that's it. Let's run it. Okay, test and continue. So now what happens is the test file is sent to BitScout and we are responding with the information we can extract from the invoices. Uh, that later on, okay, so let's see what we do. So this is the test, okay. And the next step is we don't need Asana, but you can save it to any other tool. In this case, we will need Excel. Okay, we are saving data into Excel online. Okay, so add a row, continue. And now we need to sign into Microsoft Excel. So that give me a second. So let's create one Excel file for invoices. Okay. Let's call it invoices, March, and then we'll have file name, invoice ID, uh, vendor, total, currency, and date. Okay, this is our Excel file. You can do, you can of course create what, what you want. So let's find the, here we are. So then we need to choose a sheet and then it will give us the fields. Here we are. So file name comes from attachment file name. The invoice ID comes from BitScout because this is information uh, that we extract that you don't have to do manually. Vendor, name, total, total, total. Currency, here we are, and date. That's it. Let's test and continue. And what will happen? The data should appear here.
Here it is. Now you can remove the last step. We don't need that. Um, so now your zap is ready. And that's it. Um, now everything is ready. You can um, switch it on. And the moment the data arrives to your Google, according to your Gmail, according to your uh, trigger, it will run and extract the data. And that's it. Thanks a lot for your time.